Hello folks, thanks for tuning in. Hope everybody's having a wonderful God-given summer day. What I want to talk about today? Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part 2. So let's talk about Harry Potter and the last movie in the series. I went and saw it last night, and I have to say, I was quite entertained. Now listen, I'm not a big Harry Potter fan. I didn't read any of the books. Not a big reader, I am. Not... Re reader. But I love the fantasy genre, and I think that Harry Potter is a compelling story about power rising out of mediocrity, the little man beating the big guy. So I thought the special effects were wonderful. Uh, the cinematography, the, the pacing I thought was very good. It took some of the slower, more pensive scenes of the first one and sort of translated it well, I thought, into some pretty intense action. My main criticism of the movies, and I don't know if this is the same with the books and reading it, but in the movies I feel like though we have gotten to know these characters over the ten years and we really there really was a great development of their personalities, characters and growth as people, I didn't always feel like there was a strong connection between the characters and the plot. Often I felt like the story was being driven by the overarching good versus evil, Harry versus Voldemort, but it always felt as though the characters were just there along for the ride. Even Harry, and I think that's the, my biggest problem with the series is that Harry Potter, it just seems to me like his character is being dragged along for the ride rather than all these things are happening because of something because of something in him. And I guess I'm not really sure what Harry Potter's real inner struggle is and what it has to do with the ongoing story. Though I have to say, this last movie made up for a lot of that in showing Harry is more powerful and more, more in touch with who he is and what he has to do. Maybe it's because to me, the magic and mythology of the Harry Potter series is pretty undeveloped, at least in the movie series in the way that there's not a lot of depth built into the magic or the mythology about the magic or in the mythology about the wizards. Maybe it's because I'm comparing it to something like Lord of the Rings that is rich with a deep built mythology and language. I just feel like it lacks the depth and richness that magic should have. To me Harry Potter's magic is more like a superhero type power. Okay, so they can make fire and stuff, but it doesn't tap into any like deeper meaning, like a theology or philosophy of life, of nature. Feel free to disagree with me in the comment section below. Until the next episode, keep up the good work. Oh,